All right, so what up guys? Uh, I am going to grab some iced coffee and then I'm going to hit the road. I have a real estate shoot today and I figured on the way there, do some point of view and uh, tell you guys how I kind of got to the point of being able to afford this car. It's not crazy by any means. It wasn't overly expensive, um, but I'll break down some of the costs and like the reality of my situation, which is what it is. So. Yeah, bear with me. Got my glazed donut, Pause. And uh, yeah. Got my white girl drink. I never get iced coffee, I always get black coffee. But, now you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, it's bright as fuck. I probably look like a fucking hobo, but the car looks good. Another X4M just drove by. I never see him around here. That's cool. But uh, yeah, let me strap you on my head, pause, and uh, let's get to driving. Got this new fucking head unit on right now, and I'm trying to get this thing to uh, be comfortable and fit properly. Let's see. I think that's like good, right? What's up? Almost done with this. Yeah, I honestly like these white girl drinks. Fuck that, bro. I was I, I just don't like caffeine too much. And I didn't even get decaf. I don't know. I got anxiety, so caffeine kind of sets me off sometimes. But big black coffee guy. Pause on that as well. But um, let me see. Is this angle optimal? I think so. You can see my hands and shit. If I'm like this, you can probably see everything. So that's good. Hey, yo. All right. Let's see if this dog pokes its head out the window again. It was very cute. Yeah. <laughs> that's sick. Oh, Dude, I want a dog so bad, but like, not gonna happen until I move out. I live in one of those households where like, not gonna happen until I'm out the house. But uh, yeah, let's get to yapping, bro. Um, to break down how I was able to afford this vehicle, keep in mind, didn't buy it new, wasn't overly expensive uh, compared to a lot of what these people have nowadays that are my age. Um, I think after it was all said and done, I paid 54 for this, 54.5, maybe a little bit more after tax. Uh, it's financed. All right, keep in mind, horrible, horrible, well, compa once again, compared to some other people. Sick. All right, once again, compared to other people, like, could be better, could be worse. But pretty shitty loan. Horrible terms. I'm at, I'm at what is it? F uh, fucking... What is it, seven year loan or some shit? Six or seven year loan at like 9% interest, which nowadays is unfortunately kind of normal. Uh, if you're buying a new car, maybe you could get that down to a lot less, but not a new car, used vehicle. Um, overall, horrible financial decision. Uh, I knew what I was getting into and I don't really regret a fucking thing. So that's how you gotta live. But other than that, 54,000, 55,000, uh, what I just said about the fucking loan, I put like 7,000 down. I barely put anything, bro, I'm a dumb, broke kid. I barely put anything down, all right? That's why it's like not unrealistic to do these types of things and own these types of cars at a young age. You just have to be fucking stupid enough to do it. So, um, 7,000 down, my, Fucking my monthly is a very painful 815 a month. As for what I do for work, bro, I'm just a photographer, yo. I work for a dealership. Yo, I had this one comment on my fucking uh on one of my videos once and he was like, yo, my friend's a photographer, like you just come from a rich family. I don't respect you. Some shit like that. I'm not big enough to fucking not remember that shit. I will stuff it down. I'm cutting that out. 
Um, but still, bro, uh, Paul's also on that. But I'm a like, I do my own shit on the side and I work for a company. My benefits are majority paid for and like, I have no expense. Let's, let's get into that, bro. I c I'm an only child that comes from, oh, yo, look at this. Oh, what happened, bro? Oh, he must have just lost some shit. Oh, dude, I felt bad for a second. Holy fuck. The place that I grew up is like, it ranges from like lower income all the way up to a lot of fucking income, bro. I'm not going to fucking sugarcoat that. So I'm basically kind of like middle class for a while, a little bit upper middle class. And my parents got divorced and that kind of changed shit up. Um, doesn't fucking matter. It's not a sob story. It's just a fucking reality. Um, so I'm like middle class. Uh, my father has done well for himself. Uh, he's retired now, but like, think about the situation. I'm his only son. Uh, I'm his only, I'm his only child. Like I'm not going to have it rough. He's done well for himself. The situation is that I don't have much expenses. I'm not just going to lie to you and be like, yo, I came from the fucking trenches. No, uh, I've had it relatively easy. Uh, other than my own personal issues that, you know, everybody has to sort out themselves. My external situation has been pretty good. Um, that doesn't come without some fucking friction along the way, believe me. But uh, as for financial, I don't have, like, any real fucking expenses. My dad's a major car guy. Like I'm, I'm a car guy because of my father. So it's not like he wouldn't want me to have nice shit like this. So all the fucking, um, like the financing, the down, all that shit, my trading, that was all my money. But the reason I could do it at this age is because I have no expenses. Like it, it just is what it is. When it comes to my job, I'm making good money on the side as well as my job doesn't pay me anything astronomical. Like I actually, I don't get paid much at all, but it's an easy job, which is nice. I'm looking to get out of it soon, but keep in mind, I am a photographer for a company. I have a W2 or whatever the fuck. And then on the side, I make decent money. Like right now I'm going to uh, my own shoot. I had a shoot yesterday. I had a shoot the day before that. And I have a shoot, two shoots today. So. Yeah, I'm not just some fucking, like, kid that gets everything handed to him, to a certain degree, you know, everything's been easy, but I, for shit that I want, I have to do it myself, um, so yeah, uh, I, I like to hustle, I like to fucking grind, uh, they're like, for example, I'm so fucking proud of this, but I'm never doing it again, at the Atlantic City truck shoot, or uh, truck show last year, I booked 21 fucking shoots within the last, like two days. That shit was a fucking grind. I didn't walk around, I didn't drink any fucking water. I was about to pass out, but I like the grind. So I shot 21 trucks, bro. Um, so I don't like to just sit on my ass and let things come to me, I let, pause. But I, um, I like to get after it a little bit. It's important to do that and keep yourself a little bit motivated. It's not impossible to do these things. And the reality is there's a lot of kids, like I personally know kids. It's not like they come from anything, but they're making a fuck ton of money because they don't make fucking excuses about, oh, it's his fucking uh, parents' money, it's mommy and daddy. Bro, they get off their ass and they learn how to do things and make fucking money, bro. That's the biggest thing. I put all my money into photography so I could learn how to do it because I knew whether I'm doing it forever or a short amount of time, I'll be able to make money. I knew I had somewhat of a natural ability to see things in a way that people want to see them, if that makes sense. And I just got off my ass and made the fucking effort to learn how to do it. Like, I, I'm i fucking lazy, but the, the reality is, is that I will have more for myself. I will make more for myself. I will live the life that I want to live. That is extremely important to keep in mind. Not the fact 
that like you say these things but it's more you know these fucking things like you need to make the initial step but just that that first acceptance of okay it's gonna be like this i will make this happen that's the biggest thing you could do for yourself that's the biggest foundation if that makes sense uh where do i have to fucking go bro went to fucking Rutgers Newark fuck that fuck college in my personal opinion if you do not know what you're going to do which was my case unfortunately college is a good route if you know what you like to do straight out of high school or for however long you've known what you wanted to do fuck college go and do that shit bro don't waste your fucking time if I knew I wanted to do photography right out of high school bro I would have been solid I wouldn't have gone to school or I would have gone to school for photography I have a criminal justice fucking degree. What am I gonna do with that? Probably nothing. I wanted to go to law school, but I don't think I can handle too much more school. Um, I'm actually almost at this fucking shoot too, uh, which is crazy. Maybe I'll continue the video on the way back, or maybe I'll just save, make like a part two of this. Uh, because I think it's really important for people my age, younger, even older, it doesn't fucking matter what age you are, to hear like, listen, it's all fucking possible. Look at New York, bro. It is beautiful, bro. I'm not gonna say it isn't. Uh, but it's all possible and it's all realistic and it's not always fucking mommy and daddy's money, but some people are in circumstances where, bro, if your parents buy you a car and the individual is grateful for it and understands their place, they're not gonna fucking, like, it is what it is. It's not like their fucking parents didn't work hard for their money. That's the biggest thing I hate. Some people get it all and they're dickheads and it's like, okay, fuck you. But there's a lot of like people out there that are handed things, but it's within reason. Either they met their parents' criteria in school. They fucking, their parents are grateful for them as a kid because they see what they're doing. And, you know, they help them out. I, people are such fucking dickheads, bro. I'm telling you, I don't know if that's where I had to go. I don't think so. Like, dude, just because you don't have something doesn't mean you can't have it eventually. Like, grow the fuck up. I hate that jealousy bullshit. Never once have... Oh, look, a cyber truck's up there. Dude, I've been seeing so many cyber trucks, and I don't know if it's the same one, or if these are all different cyber trucks that I'm seeing. But, dude, I hate that jealousy shit. I've never been, like, jealous of someone. I've been... Like, you know, you always... You're never not going to be jealous of someone. You see somebody get a good, like a nice car or some shit. And like, damn, bro, I want that. But it, use that as motivation. It's not something to fucking get envious about and angry about. Bro, just work harder. Who gives a fuck? Like, the only, oh my God. The only reason you feel that way is because you, you deep down think you can't do it. But anybody could do anything. That shit's crazy, bro. Don't be fucking envious doesn't matter granted I've come from an easy situation I'm not gonna deny that so it's like well other than the fact that I've wanted to skull at times um, like I came from a an easy situation and and I'm grateful for it I can't speak from not that situation you know what I mean so I guess I don't know how other mindsets are but like I've never been jealous of anyone or anything like that like there's everything's unlimited it doesn't fucking matter just work harder and realistically the people that work harder are gonna get more from it so in itself if you don't have it and you are forced to work harder for it you're still gonna come out on top it's like a fucking uh i don't know the word i would i don't know the word i would use but it, it's a blessing in disguise you can fucking do it bro I don't make a lot of money at my job but I make it happen with the side gigs granted I've been broke these last couple months because I haven't had much going on I don't push for it much I just wait till it comes to me and then of course this last week I've gotten four jobs but you know you can make it happen I put all my money into the photography shit because I was like you know what let me put my money to use in a way that I know I could make money back and bro I've made good money so far I have this which is nice I was able to make the down payment quick for it and stuff like you know 
hustle, bro. There's nothing wrong with a little hustle. Even if you came from money and you have everything in the world, hustle, yo. Challenge yourself. Learn things. Fuck that easy bullshit. Yo, that thing's that thing's crazy, bro. And like it isn't, but it is. Let's see. I'm almost to this house, so I'm gonna fucking wrap this up. But look at me. I love real estate. I got into doing real estate photography. Hopefully I could get into real estate investing next. I like the fucking stock market. I've been trying to learn how to get into that shit. Like, never stop fucking learning, bro. Never stop. That's what's gonna make you fucking successful. You know, they say, fucking what is it? Work hard, not smarter. Work smarter, not harder. Whatever the fuck. Bro, if you learn how to do things, you, everything will be, oh damn, that thing's, oh, that sounds good, bro. Oh, no, it doesn't. I thought it did. I heard a little bit of turbo sound. Just keep challenging yourself. You know? I don't even know where I was going with the work smarter, not harder bullshit, but challenge yourself. And you will be very grateful for it in the future. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up because I'm almost there. I'll make a part two to this video or some shit. Because I like to talk about this, like, you know, motivational type shit. I don't know. It's, uh... Uh, my friend, my friend, thank you. Not that I'm a motivating person or anything like that, but like, if I could contribute to somebody's success, even in the slightest, whether I say something and it helps them out, like, you know, what else is there in the world that you need to do? You know, be a nice person and try to contribute. Simple as that. But uh, I'll probably get some videos on the way back of me ripping it or some shit, or I'll make a different video. I don't know, we'll see. But I'll catch you guys later. Stay, uh, stay beautiful, my friends. Peace.